Nike Victory Red Irons. I tend to have these, these blackout moments where I don't remember. I know I was there, but I don't remember actually performing the golf shot. The athlete in the peak performance zone uh, is, is, is really in a, in a kind of a heightened state of awareness uh, and absorbed focus. I get so entrenched on the moment, I guess my subconscious might take over. I don't know what the whole terminology is, but there are many putts or many shots where I don't remember hitting. I know, I remember seeing the ball flight. I remember preparing for the shot, pulling the club out of the bag, and once I'm behind the ball, I'm walking in the shot, I don't remember until I see the ball leave. It's a, it's a, weird, a weird thing. As a Green Beret in Vietnam, Tiger Woods' father, Earl, had witnessed PSYOPs, psychological operations, wiping soldiers' memories in order to send them into battle. All right, now walk out there. Earl wondered what would happen if he used the same techniques on his son. Go deep. Relax. No fear. He hired a military psychiatrist who could reprogram Tiger like a computer. Relax. No way. No this man was Captain Jay Brunzer. Brunzer embarked on a bizarre and extraordinary program to hypnotize Tiger before he played. In a rare interview, Tiger talked about how he would forget whole sections of tournaments. He was born in Basel, Switzerland. He started playing tennis at six years old. He could have been a soccer pro but chose tennis. He once had a temper, but he found his pool and became a champion. He's definitely the man to be. His name is Roger Federer. He's won 10 majors and counting.